Hey guys, what is up? It's SSD Middleman here with Guides for Assault, and today I'm going to be showing you my initial thoughts on the new Gorgon Wraith weapon in Warframe. So, if you don't know already, to get this weapon you had to have gotten over 500 points in the Tethra's Doom event that just recently ended, and if you got that many points, you will have gotten an email from Lotus giving you all the rewards from the event, including a 4-day XP boost, which is really helpful, and that helped me get this thing up to 30 in like an hour, I think. So, some advantages to this weapon compared to the original Gorgon, it does greater impact damage, has a higher fire rate, has higher status chance, it's more accurate and reloads faster, but unfortunately, you take a sacrifice with reduced puncture and slash damage with this thing. So, uh, obviously unmodded, it's most effective against Corpus, against their shields, but if you mod it properly, you can make it effective against any uh, faction of enemies. So, I'm using this thing here, fighting against uh, some Grenier and some Corpus, just trying it out with some different mods. Now, I'm not the best at modding right now, and I don't have a bunch of maxed out mods and by max that mods, I'm talking about the 10 rank ones. I think my serration is rank 9 right now, so once I get all my mods maxed out, I'll be able to do weapon reviews better, and this is my first one I've ever done, so, you know, go easy on me. Anyways, so I'm using this thing here, and it's actually pretty effective. Like I said, it only took me about an hour to get this thing to level 30, plus it comes with a potato already installed on it, so you will have 60 points rather than 30 uh, to mod your weapon once you get it to level 30. And for some mods, I definitely suggest serration and split chamber. Obviously, you pretty much want to use that on any primary weapon. And throw some elemental mods on there with this. Uh, I tested it a little bit, and I don't know if the increased status chance mods are worth getting the extra status chance. I mean, this thing does have a 15% status chance, which means that you can mod it properly to get probably around a 50% status chance, which would be really good, but I just don't know how powerful the status chances are right now in Warframe. Maybe when it gets buffed in the future, which I'm assuming it will, uh, this weapon will be more effective with those mods. Its crit chance is 10% and its crit damage is 1.5x, so, you know, it's alright with the crit damage, but you definitely shouldn't apply mods to it to rely on the crit damage, because I just don't know if that's worth it either. So, right now I'm just running, um, serration, split chamber, and then some elemental mods. You should probably slap on a heavy caliber, that might work pretty well, but the weapon is already pretty inaccurate, so somebody's gonna have to let me know how that works out. Um, I might make another video in the future if I try to pimp this thing out and uh, apply a bunch of different mods to it and run some testing, but my initial thoughts are on it are, it's okay, it's not the greatest weapon in the game, it is not a Soma killer by any stretch of the imagination, and you're probably going to see a lot of people using this for a week or two, but after that, probably not going to see it anymore. Anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like rating down below and subscribe to see some more videos in the future. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.